can leave your shoes at home for the Barefoot Mardi Gras Festival. Our newest member of our Weekend Sunrise team, reporter Fernando Flores, joins us live now from Padre Bayou Park with a look at what exactly is coming up this weekend. Fernando, I won't ask you how you got your beads. <laughs> Well, good morning, Emily. We already talked about the Barefoot Mardi Gras Festival Parade, and now we got the festival right after, as well as the uh, King and Queen Ball right after. And here I'm with James Gay and Kaylin Paxson, members of the Padre Island Business Association. James is the president. Now tell me, uh, economically, how does this help Coastal Bend? Well, from everything from Beds in the Heads, which uh, works great for our community, gets more uh, uh, tourism dollars out here, to packed hotels, to uh, packed restaurants, which is uh, represented here from Scuttlebutt's uh, Seafood Bar and Grill, um, to really just a community element of, of liveliness out here. There's a buzz in the air. Now, with Hurricane Harvey having an impact on the Coastal Bend, I'm pretty sure this brings in a good amount of money for the Coastal Bend and to help out. Absolutely. One of our beneficiaries of this is going to be the school district in Port Aransas, which was heavily impacted by Harvey, but also our, our uh, Island Foundation school system and, and Seashore Learning Centers out here. And now the King and Queen uh, Ball at the very end of the, the night, which is 7 p.m. to 12 a.m., uh, the, the $40 or the, the money that goes that from the tickets actually go to that foundation, correct? That's correct. The school districts, the kids in the districts here, both in Port Aransas and uh, Padre Island. And uh, Kaylin, uh, you've been in charge of this for the last couple of years. Uh, tell, me a little, tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's been really a blessing to be part of a team that comes together and you have a lot of volunteer folks that are professionals in the community to set up the ball. Every year we do uh, the King and Queens Ball, which is kind of the, the end of the whole event. Uh, everyone comes out dressed up in their Mardi Gras gear. King and Queen is selected for the year and they really represent the event for the remainder of the year. So it's an exciting hand changeover. So what does it take to be King and Queen? How do you get elected to, to be that? The selection process, um, it's really kind of a handing on of the baton. So the previous king and queen examines who's been really instrumental to the community, and that's the, those are the candidates that we want to represent the event for the year going forward. So they make that selection. And what will be going on at the king and queen ball later on? Oh, goodness, a lot of fun. We've got a lot of good food plan. We've got a shrimp boil from uh, Rolling Tide, which is a local company. Schlitterbahn is also going to uh, supplement some of the food tonight. We've got um, some drinking. Spasmatics are going to be... Uh, no, Splendiferous. Splendiferous, pardon me. Great band, one of my favorites locally. And it's awesome. just a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, Barefoot Mardi Gras Festival happening at 11 a.m. Right after we got the... the King and Queen Ball from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. Come out and join. Reporting from Bali Park, Fernando Flores, Chris 6 News.